This vehicle is powered by a 3.5 liter twin turbo V6, producing 450 horsepower and 510 pound-foot of torque. Is driven with a 10-speed automatic transmission, four-wheel drive, capable of towing up to 8,600 pounds. And it is an all-aluminum alloy body with adapted suspension with six different modes, adaptive cruise control, head-up display, lane keeping, 360-degree camera, forward and reverse sensing, and Rebel Ultima Audio 20 speakers, among other things. You've got the power liftgate, three rows of seats, beautiful stitching on the seats as well. All your control buttons for all the different seat functions up and down and around. You've got some uh, pretty cool storage in the back here. Nice, nice. Of course, power lift gate, power tailgate. Give you a shot of the door. And again, the beautiful stitching on the seats. One of the nice things I'll mention quickly about the display up here. Give you a shot of the outside so you can see the overall total length of this vehicle and the running boards do deploy they are automatic good gracious i'm gonna have to walk halfway across the room to get this vehicle in it's so huge but yes this is the 2019 lincoln navigator available at lincoln dealers now On the inside of the 2019 Lincoln Navigator, this is the Nautilus edition. Uh, so we can take a look at the door here. You get all the power buttons for your headrest and your seat up here on the door. And you can recline it up here. And you got a nice big pocket storage down here as well as a second uh, top here right here. This is uh, the happens to be black label edition. Beautiful seats. Mm -hmm. And coming up to the front here, you've got a large screen digital display for the driver. Which you can't get on right now, but take a look at the center screen. There's a beautiful um, almost like a look at it from the side you can kind of see it sticking up which is a little bit of an older style I'm surprised Lincoln didn't make that flush with the deck but it's a beautiful size screen coming down here your uh, yeah, your gear selectors are down here park first neutral and drive and then you have your physical buttons for your control of your stereo and the climate control center armrest right here you got cup holders you have a, a nice storage right here along with um, a wireless charger right there. It's got a little slot. It kind of sits sideways. First time I've seen one sit sideways along with USB ports. Your drive mode selector down here. Electric parking brake. And then if I can get over here, you have a huge storage in the center console. Again, kind of a well. It's way down there. Along with a uh, DVD. looks like a DVD player right down in there. Separate tree storage. Um, this doesn't open separately. It kind of has the appearance of opening separately, but these don't. Both of them have a little latch underneath to pull open. Yeah. One of the nice things I'll mention quickly about the um, display up here is that Lincoln has gone to using uh, Waze as a navigation app, um, and just it really has some some really neat features. Um, so you can also download that, uh, you know, off the app store, uh, for your phones. Interesting dashboard is, uh, you know, it comes curved and then it's got as much flatter up here. And that's actually your start button up here. Um, typical steering wheel controls to control everything, voice activation, um, automatic rear dimming mirror. You do have some controls up here in the sunroof. You got a, a panoramic roof in the back. Let's go take a look at the back. Back of the Lincoln Navigator. Here's our back door. You got huge storage again. You do have manually adjusting seats in the back. You have a, uh, a huge center console again. In the back here, you've got um, physical controls for your heat. These these will light up. They're backlit uh, with images inside of them. 
So you've got uh, butt controls for your uh, climate control system. Over here, you've got a rear window shade control too. And then up here is where your stereo controls are. Okay, along with a digital screen for that. Again, you've got another huge center console right here. And I have to say, and then there's another storage way under here. I have to say for, you know, for captain's chairs, this is uh, really nice where you kind of have climb control here, but then you have your, your stereo back here. Um, it's very, very spacious. I mean, oh my goodness, room-wise, it's, it's kind of like getting into a large, you know, a large pickup. And then uh, we'll take a climb into the third row and see what it's like. I'm in the third row. You can see in my knees I've got about six inches worth of space. I do have two buttons here, and these recline the third row. So if I if I can, I'm not sure if you can see this, but I can recline my own seat. That's about as far back as it goes, and then I can bring it back up again. Okay, and that's on both sides. You do have a USB outlet there, as well as one over down here. I have Hannah says a little storage tray, maybe for a phone if you want to set it in there. So they even do things. And then to exit, so we reach around here, push that button there, and there you go. The very back here, you've got a 12 volt outlet. You've got some deep storage right there you can reach. You've got all the controls for uh, power controlling your uh, third row seat to uh, recline them or bring them back up. And then another little pocket storage here, as well as more storage underneath. And one more under here. And then, Brad can't see the film, but underneath here is where your jacket and stuff is. 